guys, it's a proud cat lover, and today I'm going to be making a little update for you guys on all the baby crested geckos. Now that I'm kind of over here in the shade, you can see all their tanks. We have Ash and Pecan, who are the oldest, born in January, or hatched in January, I should say. There's Sparks and Bramble, which hatched in April, which was last month. And then there's Toffee and Snickers, who last... Um, who hatched last night, which is super exciting that they both hatched on the same day. Um, very close to each other because they both were still really slimy and, you know, like they'd come out of the egg recently. When I went to check on them last night, I checked on them yesterday morning, so I know they hatched last night um, at the same time or around the same time just because where I had checked on them in the morning and nothing had happened yet. So I'm going to first show each baby to you in the sun because it's going to be kind of a natural light. As where in my room when I turn the light on, it's kind of more kind of yellowish light. So it's not completely natural, so you really can't enjoy their colors. I will show you the older babies first because I'm not sure how jumpy the new babies are going to be. Because when I was feeding them last night, they were pretty jumpy. And if they're going to be that way, then I probably won't hold them in the natural light because I don't want them to jump onto the floor and hurt themselves. The other ones are old enough to where they aren't as jumpy. They're used to being handled and stuff, so... We'll go ahead and get the older ones out first, and then we'll kind of work our way down. Okay, so this is Ash. Pretty sure that Ash is a female. But right now, she is not fired up, so she's not as pretty as she could be. I mean, obviously, she's still pretty. She is a tricolor, so you can see her patterns here. She's got pin dashing. She's very, very pretty, and she's very laid back. Now, there is times that she will kind of run around and jump. Let's see if I can... She doesn't really want to show the other side of her body. There, you kind of get a little glimpse of it there. Oh, you want to jump? No. We'll kind of show it in the shade, too. Now, of course, like I said, lat natural lighting here, so there's no filters or anything. But um, you can kind of see her patterns a little bit better when it's in the dark. But man, when she's fired up and you have her in the natural sunlight, oh my goodness, she's just so pretty. And she has like this really pretty like amber on her back. Like there's the dark brown, but then there's kind of like that amber red. She's just gorgeous. When she's fired up, she's a really dark, dark brown, kind of like how her tail is looking right now. She might fire up a little bit more as we're going on with the video. But um, I've gotten the babies used to being handled pretty well, so of course Ash I'm going to be keeping. But um, Pecan I am going to be selling. He's not obviously for sale yet because he's not big enough, or at least not to my liking anyway. I kind of want them to be more around 10 grams before I sell them. So, but um, Pecan, if Pecan, he looks very much like a tricolor, so depending on if he's a tricolor or just a really nice Harlequin, that's going to really depend on price. If he's a tricolor, it's probably going to be like around 150, 175 that I'm going to ask for him. Um, if he's a Harlequin, it's probably going to be more like around 125. So we'll see. But um, he's looking like a tricolor right now. Just not as, of course, nice looking as Ash with all those patterns and stuff. So, But anyway, we'll move on to him next. Okay, guys, so here is Pecan. He has a really nice solid dorsal. He keeps wanting to jump. Come here. I get him turned around here so you can see his nice patterns. Now, he isn't fired up either, but I will show him in the light and then in the dark so you can kind of see the difference between his color. No. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Come here. Why must you be a pain? Anyway, <laughs> this is, like I said, Pecan. He has a really nice solid dorsal. Or not completely solid, but it is a lot more solid than what Ash has. There is a little bit of pattern that still goes through it, but... Um, all of the babies, except I haven't checked the new ones, but all of the babies I have so far, only Sparks has a flat neck. And you see how all the scales are kind of ruffled there, or all the crest, you could say, are ruffled on his neck. They get that from their dad, and I'm going to see if he wants to go onto here so you can see him a little better. But, um, here's what he looks like in the dark. Or not in the dark, but, you know, in the light natural lighting anyway. But um, he gets those scruffs of scales there from his dad because his dad has those scales. I'm going to get him to jump up here so I can 
show him a little bit better on both sides because he doesn't want to hold still for me. But um, when he's fired up, he's a really dark brown and these kind of tans on the side are more orange. And then his white really shows up then. But right now he's just not really looking very fired up. I think all the babies except for the new ones are fired down. So anyway, that is Pecan and we'll move on to the next baby. Okay guys, so this is Bramble. Finally a baby that's fired up. <laughs> but look at how pretty he is when he's fired up. He's a really beautiful kind of darkish brown. I don't know if it's really showing up very well on here. You'll see it when I put him in the dark. But um, he just kind of has a regular, not flame, but it's kind of got like a solid mixed with a flame when it comes to dorsal-wise. Really pretty dark head when he's fired up. You can see all the oranges and the whites. Now, I think he's probably going to be just a Harlequin. But, um, because he doesn't really have a lot of white to mix with his pattern. I'll kind of show him to you in the dark so you can really see. Again, not using a filter or anything. His uh, really pretty dark colors here. And he's got a nice crest for being only a month old, so he's going to be really pretty when he gets older. So, definitely a really pretty baby. Of course, any baby I make, I'm always going to say it's pretty because I'm biased, of course. He's adorable. But um, you can see he has pin dashing as well. Pretty much all of them have pin dashing, except for the newer babies. Have, I could probably say, around 90% da pinstripe because it's like the most I've ever gotten out of any baby. So one of them I might have to keep. We'll see. But anyway, this is Bramble. So we'll move on to Sparks next. Okay, so this is Sparks and he is actually fired down, but he has changed so much since he hatched. Look at all the pattern that he has going on on his sides there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it as well in the light, so I'll kind of show him in the dark as well. He has a nice amount of pinstripe. It's still kind of dashed, is what they call it. But um, he has, of course, a nice crest too. Not too bad for his age. I'll kind of see if I can get this side of him. But uh, I will go ahead and move him over into the dark because the babies don't really look mind. I mean, they don't really like the light as much as the older babies. But you can see how much pattern he has versus when he hatched, he just had those white spots. And so I thought he was going to be a really plain Jane baby. But after that, all these really pretty patterns showed up. He is just gorgeous. He was like a possible keeper until the new babies hatched because I can't really obviously keep them all. But, um, come here, big boy. No. But, um, because of all that beautiful pattern that he has, it's just so unique. So anyway, this is Sparks, and then we're going to move on. Now, he isn't fired up. I'm sure you can probably tell because he would be a lot darker. But the newer babies both look fired up, so they're going to be really pretty for you guys. Okay, guys, so this is Toffee, and I want to keep him close to the bed, but you can see just how much pinstripe he has. He is almost a complete pin, which I'm kind of sad that he isn't. But when all of them seem to be hatched first, they have this really pretty red color. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but he also looks like he has a phantom pinstripe, possibly. But man, the variety of color that his skin is right now, the diversity is just crazy. Like it's reds and oranges and yellows, and they're just so pretty. And I really hope he holds on to that color as he gets older, because he's going to be gorgeous. But... It's neat because he looks like he has that phantom stripe going on. You see that dark stripe there. Boop. You see this darker stripe that runs right underneath the dorsal is what's kind of looking like a phantom stripe. It's hard to see it if you're not in person. The crest, I can't really tell you right now if it's going to be good or not because they did just hatch last night, so it is still kind of small looking because it hasn't really been able to expand off their head. Come here. So anyway, I'm going to move him over here. But you can see not a whole bunch of pattern going on right now. Just that really pretty color that he has. There is some more on this side. But um, we'll see as they develop what colors they turn. And of course, I'll take pictures of him so you can kind of see that phantom stripe a little bit better. You can kind of see it here. It's just a little darker. But I will sit, tell you guys right now, 
um, while I'm making this video. If you're ever looking for plants for your babies or even your adults, if you haven't heard of Joann's Crafts and Fabric, definitely check it out online or they even have stores. You can do Google search. They have such nice, and these are all plastic, of course. I took the metal and pulled it through this hole so the metal wouldn't actually be touching the baby, and that holds the plant up. But um, they have really nice plastic and rubber plants. I wouldn't suggest the silk ones. They do bleed because I've tried them before. Um, before putting them in with the babies. I rinsed them and they bled ink, so I didn't bother keeping them. But they had 40% off on these plants. I bought all six that they had. And I was able to split the two plants in half because they were attached um, with this wrap that went around the metal here. So I actually got, if it was six times two, so I actually pretty much got 12 plants if I split them all. But they're really nice. I, but um, yeah, they work really well for the babies. They're really soft material. Now the newer babies have different plants than all the other babies. Each baby has different plants in their tank just because I didn't get any that were the same. But um, we'll move on to the next baby. We'll move on to Snickers. Okay, so I'll show you Snickers first in the dark because you can see all the pretty pattern that he has. He's the one that has a little bit less pinstripe but still has a lot of it. Kind of bring him over here so you can see him. He's also fired up. Look how pretty he is at just a day old. His crest looks a little bit better than his sibling. Um, So we'll have to see which one has the better crest here. But... If you can see the pattern is just so pretty. He doesn't look as red, or at least in person anyway. He still kind of has that red tint on his head though, but on the sides it's more kind of just yellows and browns. He might possibly be a tricolor, but you don't really know until they get older. He does have a nice amount of white, so that's the only reason I think that. But of course I can't really say for sure until he's a little older. But I was very pleased to see that some of the babies were coming out with more pinstripe going on than the others. I was very surprised with uh, Toffee especially having almost a complete full pin. But um, anyway, this is Snickers. Very pretty baby. So I'm going to go ahead and stick him up so he doesn't get too stressed. I hope you guys enjoyed this baby update. Thank you for watching and have a good rest of your day.